promised Mr. Firebird he'd come over this morning so I could show him my history report, my calculator, and my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox. Here's my coin. I better not leave home without it. But it gives you a way to see into the past and the future through the time portal. Like a TV set, only what you're seeing is real. Wow, that's neat! As a matter of fact, I was just about to fire it up for the very first time. Here, I'll show you. Great! And then I can show you my history report and my new school supplies. <laughs> I need a coin to start the washing machine. Guess I'm fresh out. Hey, I think I've got something that will solve the problem. Here's a coin, Mr. Firebird. Ah, this is not a mere coin, Putt-Putt. It is the key to great knowledge. The washing machine is providing the perfect ratio between the inverted subspace bubble frequency, the molecular torque, and the spin cycle. <laughs> Holy gas care! This shouldn't be happening! Putt-putt, and good luck! Wow! It's like a science fiction movie, except I have a feeling that this is reality! These must be the four places where Pep and all my things landed. I wonder where I should go first. Continuum. What things have always been. One, two, three, four. You're battling through it to places in time for you. That's where you'll find Pep. And my homework? We feel it sad that your homework is gone. And everything's wrong, but it won't be for long. 
But when you look up, you'll see the time doesn't stop Because it goes on forever Goes on forever? Goes on forever You see the old west And meet the king And see dinosaurs And really neat future thing When you return, you'll know what you'll learn Pay close attention Stay on your mission to see new dimensions. And, and when you look up, up you'll know that time doesn't stop because it goes on forever with you. you. in the shape of a circle. Whoa, it's a big one. Wowie zowie. It's a real live Brachiosaurus. Ms. Brachiosaurus, and who or what in the primordial ooze are you? I'm Putt-Putt, and I've come from the future, Miss Brachiosaurus. Sure you have, honey. Have a nice time while you're here in the past. Thanks! so I can drive through. I can't go. There's something gigantic blocking the road. I must be in the medieval times. It's a square rock. Subject Woodward. We have been out collecting wood for the blacksmith when a horrible rainstorm hit. We were charging back to the castle as fast as we could when I hit a bump and my wheel fell right off in the middle of the road. Well, maybe I can help you figure out a way to get that wheel back on. That would be wonderful, Putt Putt. Now I wonder how we should do this. It's a square shaped rock. Okay, Princess Chassie, here's the plan. You lift up your friend Woodward, and I'll slip on his wheel. It would be my pleasure. Oh my goodness gracious sakes. Good thanks to both of you. You're welcome. Now I must hurry back to the castle. My father, King Chariot, is expecting me for story time. And I have to return with a blacksmith's firewood. Perhaps we'll see you later, Pet Pet. Bye! Yes, it is. 
Only the rain that rusted the gate shut. We need something to help loosen them up. That's what I think. Maybe I can find something that would work. That would be wonderful, Putt-Putt. It's a square-shaped rock. I am the moon. It's a triangular rock. Howdy do, little buddy. You new in town? I'm Putt Putt. I'm visiting from Car Town, far in the future. Well, dang a lang a ding dong. That is something, ain't it? I'm Virgil Clyde. A rope. This might come in handy. Look at that huge pile of hay. Hay is usually for horses, but if it pleases you, help yourself. Thanks. It might come in handy. You never know. I'd like some chewy fruity wagon wheels, please. It'll cost you a nickel. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to come back when I have one. <laughs> well, shoot them up. It says, Junior Conductor Needed, Five Cents. Hey, Sonny, you didn't show up a moment too soon. I'm looking to hire me a Junior Conductor. Peak your interest, son. Job pays a nickel. Sure, what do I have to do? For starters, you can oil me up while I'm as dry as a creek bed in Indian summer. It's an oil can. little guy on four wheels. What can I do to help you? My name's Putt-Putt, and I'm visiting from the past. I was just checking out this balloon thingy. First things first, you can call me Miss Electra. And second, this must be your lucky day. We're giving those balloon makers away free. It's our anniversary. Makes as many balloons as your little heart desires. Gee, thanks. Thanks. 
Well, would you look at that? Welcome to the Paint O Rama 3000, the automated painterizer. Scanning process initiated. Painting process initiated. I look good. Thank you. And enjoy your new color. One ancient toasting device, circa 1989. Hey, it's my lunchbox! Yes, it is a lunchbox. Welcome to our museum. I am Arthur T. Fact, the pre-programmed curator. But you may call me R. T. Fact. Hi, I'm Putt-Putt. And I'm visiting from the past. I think that lunchbox you have on display is mine. I am sorry, but I have no record in my memory banks that this particular lunchbox belongs to you. There were 4,362,000 of them manufactured in your time. But I'm sure that one's mine. It's got a picture of Smokey the Fire Engine on it. I cannot give it to you. Otherwise, I will not have an ancient food container on display. What if I found you another ancient food container? Then could I trade it for my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox? Yes, you could. Great! Then that's just what I'll do. <laughs> it's a newspaper <laughs> in ancient writing. Welcome to the Petal Rama. 
the make-it-yourself pet food smorgasbord. You may make any kind of custom pet food simply by creating the animal you wish to feed and then pressing the food button. Thank you and have a pleasant day. This looks like fun! Your food will be ready momentarily. Great! Thanks! to the library. Excuse me, I'm Putt-Putt. I'm visiting from the past. I thought this was a library. Where's all your books? My, my, you are from the past, aren't you? Nowadays, all books can be found on our computer. Usually, when you find what you're looking for, I can make a copy for you. But unfortunately, at the moment, we're out of paper. By the way, my name's Darian. Darian the Librarian. Glad to meet you, Darian. Darian said that I can't get a book right now. Putt-Putt, what can I do for you? I'm trying to drive across the road back there, but there's a strange something blocking it. That strange something happens to be my tail, Putt-Putt. Gee, if it wouldn't be much trouble, Ms. Brachiosaurus, would you mind moving it so I can get through? Not at all, honey. Not at all. I really appreciate it. Like to help me figure out how to move this basic pile of rocks. Then 
I can build me a bridge and go home. I'd be happy to help you, Will. All I have to do is figure out how to do it. It's a triangle-shaped rock. Full speed ahead! Ugh. That was fantastic! Stupendous! Hi, you cars from the future sure know how to fix your basic bridge. Hey! Uh-oh, big time problem alert. Looks like we're gonna need one more rock to finish the job. Don't worry, I'm sure I can find one somewhere. Great! Looks like we need a rock shaped like your basic circle. I'll keep an eye out for a round rock, then you can cross your bridge. It's a rock in the shape of a pentagon. Hey, it's a rock in the shape of a circle. and a horribly miserable Apatosaurus at the moment. My name's Putt-Putt, and maybe I can help you. What a positively inspired idea. You could just roll on over to my back and scratch away this terrible itch. But then I'd have to drive over your head. Not a problem, Putt-Putt. I'm tough. I can take it. Just oh, scratch that spot, please. Now go a bit to the left. Oh, a bit more to the left. Ah, oh. now go down just a bit. Oh, yes, go a little to the left. A little more to the left. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's it. Oh, now I can relax. Thank you. You're welcome. I was happy to help. Mind if I drive over your tail to the other side? As far as I'm concerned, Putt-Putt, you could drive on me all day and night. Be my guest.
ಹಾಗೆ Gapsy likes it. I'm telling you, the guy's a total herbivore. My friend is always busy eating. On a good day, he could go through a couple of bushes in nothing flat. By the way, let me introduce myself. My name's Compi, short for Compignathus. As you may have guessed, that's my buddy, Triceratops. Glad to meet you. My name's Putt-Putt. Hi, Mr. Bird. Join me, won't you, in a fabulous game of Follow the Volcano? Here you go. See if you can match this one. All right, go for it. Now see if you can match that. Now it's your turn. I'll bet you're sitting there thinking this is going to be easy. If you want to leave, now's the time to click on the old flashing arrow. A vicious, strange something or other about to attack. I just know it. No, it isn't. I'm Pet Pet. I never hurt anyone on it. Promise? <laughs> of course I promise. <laughs> oh, gosh. I feel much better. Say, you want to play picture jumble with the rocks? Sure, that sounds like fun. So, uh, 
Which one's fun? Let's move that one. Huh? Have you ever met such a chicken-hearted Tyrannosaurus Rex in your whole life? <laughs> Sometimes I'm even afraid of my own shadow. <laughs> you're the only Tyrannosaurus Rex I've ever met in my whole life, and I think you're nice. You do? Gosh, you can't mean it. <laughs> Which one's fun? I sure had fun playing with those rocks. Thanks, T-Rex. container for you, Artifact. It's a really old stone bowl. I got it from a wheel way back in the dinosaur ages. The dinosaur ages, you say? How amazing. This will now be the oldest item we have in our museum. Here. Take the lunchbox. Thanks! Great! I got my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox back. Now all I have to do is get Pep, my calculator, and my history report. So Mr. Firebird can close the time portal.
A little on the wheels would do nicely. By the way, my name is Tobias T. Train. But you can call me Toby. Oh, much better. A thousand thanks, amigo. You're welcome, Toby. Say, I didn't catch your name. My name's Putt-Putt. Well, Putt-Putt, my partner, so far you've made a mighty fine junior conductor. Here's your pay. One round nickel. Thanks, Toby. And you hang on to that oil can. After all, now you're my official junior conductor. Thanks. Here's a nickel for the chewy fruity wagon wheels. Help yourself, it's all yours. Some chewy fruity wagon wheels, please. It'll cost you a nickel. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to come back when I have one. That oil sure gets my gears running smooth as a stone. Oh, much better. Thanks, Buckaroo. No problem, Toby. Here's your pay. One round nickel. Thanks, Toby. Open that rusty gate. A thousand and one thank yous, Putt Putt. Now we won't be late for story time. Bard Max Wellington, who loves to play the lute. I once thought of being a piper, but I cannot play the flute. Hi, Wood 
Edward? Good to see you again, Putt-Putt. You are in for a regular treat, because Sir Poundalot, my friend over there, is the nicest blacksmith in the world, and that's the truth. Still work to be done. Greetings, traveler. May I help you? My name's Putt-Putt, and I'm looking for some things. Take all the time in the world. My shop is your shop. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks! Woodward sure delivered a huge pile of firewood. Oh, that Woodward. Such a helpful little fellow. That's the wood that Woodward delivered. <laughs> What's that you're making? It's a shield for King Chariot. It's beautiful. Thank you. Hmm. Welcome, ye stranger. What be your name? My name's Putt-Putt. And I am King Chariot. Thou hast arrived just in time to hear a reading from the Royal Joke Book. Oh, that sounds like fun. Hmm. Now, which one shall I read first? Putt-Putt, I'm so happy you joined us for story time. Me too. What dost thou get when thou crosses a flea with a rabbit? I have no idea. Thou gets Bug Bunny. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm. Do, do not tell me. Ah, yes. You must be from the future. How did you know that? You are not the only visitor I have encountered from another time. My name is Merlin. Merlin the Magician? Wow! You have traveled from a time very far away. And like all travelers, you must be looking for something. I sure am. Well, my friend. I believe you will find everything you are looking for. I hope you're right. That will work. It's a rope. It's a rope. That's the hay I found. <laughs> Grab onto it, quick huh? boy.
Here we go, Pep. my Smokey the Fire Engine lunchbox. That's the nickel I got from Toby. That's the hay I found. idea, my friend. Nobody but nobody gets in between a triceratops and his dinner. He likes it. Bet your sweet little hubcaps he likes it. I'm telling you, the guy's a total herbivore. I need to feed that Triceratops some more hay, so he'll get off my history report. Here you go, boy! Thank you. 
Welcome to the library. That's my history report. Hello again, Darian. Good to see you again. How you doing there, purple buddy? <laughs> That's my gas gauge. <laughs> it's a rope. Anything else I can do for you, Toby? As a matter of fact, there is. I'm fresh out of water. And for the life of me, I can't reach that spigot way up there on that water tower. How's about putting that nog into work and finding something you can use to pull down that lever so you can fill me up? I'll bet I can do that. Toby, I found a rope, and I think it's just the thing to do the trick. I thought you'd be the kind of cowpoke who'd be handy with a rope trick. Now I'm officially in business thanks to you, Mr. Junior Conductor. Anytime you want to take a ride around the tracks, just hop on my flat car. I'll give you a ride you won't soon forget. Thanks, Toby. I'm sure I'll take you up on it. It sounds like fun. Well, Buckaroo, where do you want old Toby to take you? Next stop, Gold River. <laughs> Not gold. Well, what do we have here? Shucks, no gold. Excuse me, hello. Well, howdy, youngin. Hey, don't mind me. <laughs> I'm panning for gold. Wow. There's really gold in that river? Uh, uh, what, what's that you say? Uh, what, you can't get hold of a quiver? Are you gonna shoot a bow and arrow some? I have a funny feeling that prospector didn't hear a word I said. Well, looky here. Dang blam it! It's just a bunch of old rusty keys. Excuse me, do you mind if I take these? Ah, Sonny, you can take them, shake them, or bake them for all I care. They're just a bunch of good-for-nothing keys, is all. You never know. They might be good for something. All aboard for Hubcap Hill, Tire Flat's very own ghost town. <laughs> Calculator. Hey, little guy, could you throw that down to me, please? It's mine. doesn't fit. Maybe I should try a different key.
Which key should I use? to get. Come on, Pep. Let's travel back through time to Car Town and tell Mr. Firebird. Guess what? I did it! I did it! I found all my things. And Pep, too. Congratulations, Putt-Putt. I knew you would. Now I can finally show you my new school supplies. Excellent, Pipe Pipe. But first, I must close the time portal for good. We don't need any more disasters. Disasters? I don't know about that, Mr. Firebird. I guess it all depends on how you look at it. Between you and me, I thought time traveling was the best fun ever. Well, I'm glad you had so much fun, Putt Putt. But according to my calculations, you're going to be late for school unless you hurry. Yipes, you're right, Mr. Firebird. I'll show you my report later. Here's my history report. Now let me tell you what I learned.
Do you want to play again?